Hello and welcome back. Let's play Live a Live with me, Voltage Begammer. Today, final boss time! Just go down here and... There you are. <laughs> Over here. Why did his voice change? Why am I so skilled? Because I'm a ninja. Behold, cower before the sublime form of he who shall rule the land of the rising sun. Oh. As you can see, he was a frog snake demon all along. Well, I didn't see this coming. Hey, anyway, then just keep on using your strongest technique with him. Uh, what you should do is, if you're really low levels, you should Shark and Storm. If you have Strength of Ninja, use Strength of Ninja. And if you have Blade of Wind, use Blade of Wind. However, for me, I have Bronze Leaf, so I'm gonna keep on using Bronze Leaf and probably own this guy in one hit. Anyway, get right up next to him and... Get underneath of him. Don't stand diagonal to him. Single Blade! So useless. Anyway, hey, this guy has two real big attacks, but I'm not sure if he'll actually use them. Uh, one of them is a Blood Drink, which is if you stand right next to or diagonal to him. Standing under him doesn't count. And the other one is something that puts a lot of poison on the field. But I think he's dead now. Oh wow, he's still alive. Oh, I better show you off this guy's other ability since he's kind of useless. Warning shot. Oh, I turned him around. That's actually kind of useful. Quick draw, wolf egg. So weak. As you can see, his only ability that does damage is the Polaris sword thing, and even that's not that strong, because we have awesomeness! Well done, Bento! Right on! And we knock him off his own castle. Because we are awesome like that. What a joke. As if he'd let a man who sacrifices very humanity lead our land. I forgot his voice again. You, I have a favor to ask of you. I have many, many enemies. There comes a time when one can no longer fight. It will just lead to more and more hatred. I know that you don't kill without a cause. That's why I want you to have this. I think it is better in your hands than in mine. And we got his sword, which is the same power the sword as we got from that optional boss. We got that because we got zero kills. What? Hmm? What was that? Oh, there it is. It's a boat. Are we going to get on it? I don't think so. I mean, we just killed the final boss. Oh, well done, my friends. Don't worry about me. I'm alright. Huh? Who am I? I thought you knew. I am... Ryoma Sakamoto. What? I have friends on that ship. You know, it's kind of sad. We struggle to fight over a temporary rule of an artificial nation. Why go to war with such a fleeting goal? Why sacrifice so many lives? It's kind of silly, is it not? But, for better or for worse, such seems to be our nature as people. We can't change that any more than we could change the past. But I know that one day everyone will live here in peace. I have faith in that. But what a waste. I'm surprised a man such as yourself is a shinobi. What do you think? Why don't you join me? Hmm. What do you think? <sighs> Interesting. Excellent. We'll have to prepare a feast on the ship tonight. And thus the star twinkles. It doesn't matter what you choose, the ending is the same. The sun is coming up. One day the land of the rising sun will see a new dawn as well. I'm sure of it! <laughs> 
Yes. We have successfully completed that mission as best as we could. I think I got every optional item that I can keep on the character, that's good. And I did it without killing anything, which is something I haven't seen done before on a video before. So there you go. I'm amazing. And thank you guys for voting for Peaceful. Because murderous takes so much longer. What? I don't remember seeing that room. Is, is that even a room I can get to? I don't think I've ever been in there. Looks like it would have been a great place to grind. Look at all those lost souls. Who's that guy? I don't remember killing him. Oh, it's that girl who was a ghost. That's why the screen's changing color right now. Okay, I get it now. But yeah, if you go to the murderous route, you'll get Ryoma a lot earlier. But at the same time, he's still useless because those are the only abilities he'll ever know. I mean, you saw the power of his sword. It was still pretty weak. I guess this is kind of recapping what would have happened if it was a murderous method. Because, yeah, you would have Ryoma by that point, then. Oh, poor Robo. You don't get any credit at all, whatsoever. Oh well, what can be said and done. He lived there, he died there. He wasn't even human. And as we all know, non-humans don't get any place in the history book. Very fitting music for this chapter. Sums it up quite well. Yup, we're on a roof. After killing zero people, Bento Maru rescued Ryoma Sakamoto from the Ode Castle. That actually doesn't sound very impressive. And I guess that symbol means end, or fin, or whatever. This is a good time to save. And now that we've finished Bento Maru's chapter, we can move on to the next chronologically, which will be... The Cowboy Chapter! In a time when the West was wild and criminals were many, a haggard traveler with a price on his head wanders into Success Town, the recent target of a notorious outlaw gang. Work quickly to set traps and take down the crazy bunch! Is this okay? Heck yeah it is! Bang. And now because it's a western, we have tumbleweeds. That's one. I'm going to try and count them all. And because it's a western, we have a sheriff who walks really slow. Because that's, after all, what all sheriffs are known for. They act too slow to do any difference. Which is why we need outlaw cowboys to take up any action of responsibility. Such as walking fast. And of course, because it's a western, we have a bar, also known as a saloon. Which always has these swinging doors. That will happen every time we go through those doors. We also have this cool new text. And we have this awesome music. Howdy, Sheriff. Barman, post this up for me. I do want to post her, huh? Kinda gives me the willies. Let's see, who's this feller? And now to come up with an incredibly lame name. You see, he is actually the Sundown Kid. But the thing is, I can only put six characters in there for the thing that I want in there. So I guess he's gonna have to either be... Uh... Oh, here we go. Nah. 
Actually, you know what? I'll do that. Why not? Some of you guys might disagree with my choice of lettering here, but that's okay. Because that's the only thing I can put that's actually decent for him. The kid. The badass kid. And now we ride, alone, in the desert. But you see, we're a wanted man. We're never alone. Err, it's been a while. Don't look so down. My trusty friend here's gonna put that final period on your little life. I think you'd be all be a bit more truthful. Don't roll away now. I'm mad dog after all. I can't let your yellow belly get itself killed by just any old vomit. Wouldn't be good for business. Sorry if I spit into the mic while doing his accent. How many times we done this? Almost feels like we're sweethearts or something, you know? But I was also... Gonna end today. He's Mad Dog, and we're badass. So in order to be badass, we have to use our double shot on him, often. Look how much damage that does. In response, he uses his best shot, lightning shot. But we have multi-counter. Look at how badass we are, right on. Blast. Why don't you ever kill me? Wait. Yeah. How dare you shoot my reins? It's gonna take ages to catch gold again. And that's a horse, apparently. W wait. And we just leave him there. Next time, let's play Live a Live with me, Bulldog Gamer. I'll continue off here. Later, varmints.